Hello my lovelies and welcome to another one of my videos in which we're talking about ovulation pain. What is it and how can you differentiate it from, for example, implantation pain or from an ovarian cyst? Ovulation pain is sometimes also called Mittelschmerz and that is German, nope, that's not Dutch, Mittelschmerz means middle pain and that is because ovulation is textbook wise in the middle of your cycle so you have the pain in the middle of your cycle. That's it. Now, of course, you can have ovulation pain at a different time if you're ovulating at a different moment, right? And that's why I keep talking about charting, charting, charting. We need to be charting. We need to be charting. You and I need to understand when our own fertile window opens and not go by what is textbook because a lot of us do not ovulate on cycle day 14. Now, if we're talking about ovulation pain, that is not something to necessarily worry about. It can be more of a twinge. Some people call it, it's like a little elastic band. Some feel it on a certain side. Some feel it always on the same side. And that's kind of like with a toothache, right? You can have a hole here and have pain there. It's weird when it comes to our nerves. We could be ovulating on one side and feel it on the other. It doesn't necessarily mean you're only ovulating on a certain side. As I said, it can be more of a twinge. It can be a bit of a dull, kind of annoying feeling, like a stretching elastic band, a bit crampy. And it usually lasts anywhere between a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, but generally it doesn't go beyond that. If it does go beyond that, if you have pain ongoing for several days, maybe you have it also a completely different time of your cycle. If it's not actually around ovulation, but it can be earlier in your cycle or later in your cycle, then this could be an indication of a cyst or another pelvic problem. So getting a scan done and blood work done is a good idea. The ovulation pain that I've just described doesn't necessarily happen the moment that you're ovulating. So don't go by the symptom to know if you are ovulating. I would still make sure that you're tracking cervical mucus, potentially uh, ovulation tests, and also your temperature to know when does this ovulation pain kind of happen for me? Because it can actually happen before ovulation, it can happen right at the moment, but also after. So if you're the type that has it after ovulation has happened, that is too late to start trying if you are trying to conceive a baby. Some of you will have a quite sharp pain um, the moment that the follicle ruptures and then it will go away right away. Chances are that you do actually feel the pain the moment that the ovary is releasing the egg. But again, if you rely on that moment, it's kind of too late to be trying if you then make love because the egg will be there like dude where are all the boys at we already talked a little bit about normal ovulation type of pain the reason that you can feel pain is because of the fluid that builds up in the ovary or that is then released it can irritate a little bit and the reason that you can sometimes feel ovulation pain a bit earlier or later than actual ovulation is because under the influence of hormones the fallopian tubes might start to contract a little because we want to get the egg down or the uterus might start contracting a little bit because it's getting ready for implantation but if you have severe pain that makes you double over you're not able to function or you have this pain for multiple days in your cycle, then this is, again, a reason to get checked out because potentially there could be cysts going on, but there are also lots of other reasons that you might be having this. You could be having a UTI. It could be a pelvic inflammation. It could be endometriosis. It could even be something quite minor as too much tension in your abdomen and your back. So better to go and have it checked out. And how we know the difference between implantation well, we need to know where we are in our cycle. If you know when you're ovulating, and I recently did a video on that, remember how to pinpoint ovulation. If you know when you're ovulating and you're then getting the twinges, then that is not implantation. If you know exactly where you are in your cycle and you're nine, 10 days after ovulation, then it could indeed be implantation. And implantation twinges can actually last a little bit longer because during implantation, um, there can be some blood that is released and that is irritating to the uterus and that can give the crampy feeling. Also, especially if it's your first pregnancy, that pain can go into a kind of growing pain because your uterus is expanding and that can also feel like a bit of a menstrual cramping type of pain. So while that is no longer implantation pain, it can feel like it is because it just 
keeps on going. Hey, if you'd like to know more about ovulation, I've got a playlist for you. Go ahead and click on the playlist on your screen right now. And in the meantime, see you in the next video. Bye.